Hi, so guess where I am? Yes, I'm in Tivoli again. Um, it's open for the Easter, beginning with the Easter season and going right through to the summer. But today I'm going to show you around the park and some of the Easter decorations. But also, and more importantly, I'm going to give you some tips of ways you can make the best out of your visit to Tivoli, whether that's how to make the most of the money that you're spending in here or how to have a more comfortable visit. So as we go around, you'll see some of the Easter decorations, but also some of me chatting about some good things that uh, can help you enjoy the park. So let's get going. arrive at the park don't forget to pick up a guide you'll find them on these booths just as you come in Easter in Tivoli running up to the 22nd of April it doesn't close then it just just becomes summer in Tivoli but get hold of the guide it will show you where the toilets are changing rooms restaurants everything you need to know and also a map of the park if you're new to the park so once you've paid to get into the park um, then you have to think about do you want to do rides now buying individual ride tickets can work out pretty expensive and you may find that if you're here with children then you have to say no you've had enough rides you know it's getting too expensive but you can get a ride band uh, I was going to show you mine there you can get a ride band now I have a wild card which is an annual card which gives me entry into the park and unlimited rides but if you come with just the day ticket then you can buy the ride ticket from the machines over there. Now the ride ticket, bearing in mind that one of the most expensive rides in the park, which you probably will want to go on, is around 50 to 60 crowns. You buy the uh, ride pass, once you've been on three rides, it's all free after that, you've paid for the ticket. So it's really well worth getting hold of that so that you can actually enjoy the rides that are available in the park without worrying about how much it's going to cost you. Um, I'll put a little bit in later in the video, just sort of weighing up the, the pros and cons and the prices that you can spend, um, whether you live here or you're visiting, to make the most, get the most bang for your bucks, as they say, out of visiting, visiting Tivoli. Now, when you arrive in the park, once you've bought your tickets, um, if you go down slightly to the left of the main entrance, there's a toilet area, lockers, and also somewhere where you can borrow, um, you put a coin in, um, you can borrow either one of these if you've got slightly bigger children who can't walk all the time without getting too tired. Then you've got these ones here which um, are for um, different kinds of uh, mobility um, issues. It says up there you can rent a stroller or a wagon for 50 krona. The wheelchairs are free um, and you have to make a deposit. You go up to the service centre to do that. So here you have some wheelchairs. So if you come in with somebody who needs to use a wheelchair you can borrow those as it says for free and these ones here also have a coin um, and these ones down here have a coin slot too. So that's a great way if you're having a longer day in the park with either older people, people with mobility issues or young children, this is something that you can borrow. These are the lockers. Uh, there are several banks of lockers through the park. These you also have to pay for, um, but if you come and you've got bags or maybe some bigger coats and the weather warms up and you want to put them in a locker, you can do that. They have these medium sized lockers over here and over there they have larger lockers. Uh, the small locker costs 30 crowns, the larger locker is 50. You don't get that money back, but you can come back and put things in your locker uh, without giving up the locker, if that makes sense. On busy days, particularly if you come for Friday Rock in the summer, these lockers are normally pretty full and you may be unable to get one. But this is a good place to dump off anything you don't need to carry around the park with you. Another tip if you're coming to visit Tivoli and you want to avoid the crowds is to come in when it just opens. It opens at 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, I think right now it's probably about 20 past 11 and as you can see the park is very quiet. Maybe you want it with more people, a little bit more atmosphere, but this certainly means that you can walk around and you can enjoy what the park has to offer without being full of crowds and also queuing too long for some of the rides. So here's a little explainer for how the rides work. When you get up to a ride, you'll see 
a little Tivoli guard with his arm out, little wooden one, and it will say what the minimum height is to go on this ride and also the minimum age. The minimum age for this is age four, the maximum is age 14, and you must be 110 centimetres high. This uh, wooden gentleman is holding his hand out at that height, so it's 100 centimetres high, sorry. He's holding it out at that height, so if your child is taller than his arm, they're okay to go on the right. Now, this is the next sign that you will see. This takes one ticket that you can buy from the machine, or you can go on with your tour pass. Again, you've got some uh, information there. You'll see this on a lot of them. They'll give you a little bit of guidance depending on what ride they are. So you can't come on here if you've got a broken limb. So no broken arms and legs on here. Uh, no compensation if you lose anything. These are all the things that you can't do or you can't go on. So if you've got back and neck problems, heart disorder, this ride isn't for you. And if you want to indulge in any of those activities above, also you can't bring them on the ride. It tells you when the ride opens and at what time the ride closes. So you'll see those by most rides. So if you're coming with children, that's a, it's a good way to work out whether they can go on the ride or not. Sometimes it might say that uh, they can go on at a certain age as long as they're accompanied by an adult. So just take a look and you can work out what rides are right for your family. Over the uh, spring opening, which is when it first opens for the summer season for Easter, they put in these massive beds of bulbs. You can see here these rich, dark purple hyacinths, which I'm allergic to and I'm really getting up my nose so I'm not going to show you them for too long but there's also beds with tulips and daffodils, big beds like this and um, maybe we'll see some more when we're walking around but it's really really beautiful and it really, as, as every season in Tivoli, it really sings out what that season is and this season is, is spring. If you have the misfortune to have an accident while you're in Tivoli, I came with some friends from England, their son fell and gashed his chin. At the very end of the park, the opposite end to the main gate, is a first aid place. Now at the moment it says, sorry we're out at the moment, please contact staff. But normally, and there are plenty of staff walking around, but normally there is somebody in here, a paramedic, who can help you. He glued up my friend's son's chin. Um, and if you need any further medical assistance, obviously they can help you with that. So this is somewhere well worth knowing that it exists in case you do have an accident in the park. If you come to Tivoli with children, now they're going to love the rides, but you may might not want to spend a lot of money on those or perhaps they're a bit rided out. Uh, you can bring them over here. This is Rasmus Klump, the uh, famous uh, bear who wears those spotty dungarees. This is his house and he puts a performance on during the summer every afternoon here. But right next to it is the Rasmus Klump playground. So I'm going to take you up there. This is a great place for kids of, of most ages, really. Somewhere they can blow off some steam, have a run around. It's all themed around Rasmus Clump, so I'm afraid if you're not a Rasmus Clump fan, this might be a bit of a mystery to you, but uh, it's good fun. That ends for little kids. And then when you go on this side, slightly bigger children, you can climb up into this ship. There's also some toilets up here. Um, and there's this great thing with like kind of tunnels to climb through. So you go up the lighthouse, you can climb through all these tunnels. When you get to the opposite end, you made your way through all the tunnels, you go ding, ding, with a bell there. And there's this, and there's lots of different climbing places. And as I say, down below, there's a small cafe, children's changing area if you need to change nappies. Um, there's also somewhere you can, uh, a microwave where you can warm up milk or formula for your baby. So this is kind of like family central area here. So there you go. And there's also a little cafe where you can get pancakes. Oops. Seems to be falling over. Um, or you can get pancakes and things like that. But yeah, look, it's great. And then, like I say, you've got that, that changing room area in there. So if you're coming with kids, this is definitely an area to consider just to, uh, to get them back to uh, back over the excitement of the rest of the park and also to go to the toilet, etc. In the summer months when all the little uh, little huts that um, sell things are gone that are normally here in the winter, you get this wonderful little tram that runs around the park. It's really lovely, it's really good fun. Uh, they have three of them. They're electric, so, you know, with the electric car revolution, they were here a long time before. And normally, uh, not today, it's a young man today, normally they're driven by a guy called Trolls, who's quite a character, you can't miss him, big beardy guy, so he's quite cool, bing! Anyway, I'm going to get on and show you a little bit of this.
When it comes to food in the park, it can start to get quite expensive if you go to some of the restaurants. There's a slightly higher markup. It is possible to leave and return with your ticket, but you have to pay a small amount of money. I think it's about 20 or 30 crowns to get like a pass out ticket. But another alternative, which is slightly more affordable and only opened last year in 2018, is the Tivoli Food Hall, which you can enter from the park and you can come back in. As you can see, there's a guard there who'll check your tickets as you go in. Um, and in there, there are lots of different places, slightly cheaper places, open sandwiches, uh, Chinese food, uh, wok, all kinds of different things in there. So that's an option and there's a nice seated area. And at the top of the Tivoli Food Hall, um, is um, Sticks and Sushi, Sushi Restaurant, and they have a terrace which overlooks the park, which I'm probably going to pop up there later and film a little bit over the park for you to see. So that's a good option if you're looking for food and you want to reduce the cost. You can, of course, bring your own picnic into Tivoli and eat it in any of the lawn areas or on the benches, and that, that's perfectly permissible. There's plenty of opportunities to get some sugary things around the park, candy floss, lollies, that kind of thing. But you'll see in a lot of the ice cream places, they'll do what they call a Tivoli special. It's a waffle cone, three scoops of ice cream, a flobola, which is like a Tanit's tea cake. It's like a little meringue, cover, uh, not meringue, um, marshmallow covered with chocolate stuffed on the top, guff, which is basically kind of like foamy stuff, that pink stuff, and jam and cream and soft ice. I mean, this is, you know, you're pushing the boat out on the calories with this, but it's quite spectacular, I think you agree, and uh, beats a 99 with a, with a flake in it, I think. tip is the reusable cup refund so if you get a drink a soft drink a beer or anything like that inside Tivoli you'll get one of these plastic cups like the bottles here you pay a deposit for it and then you can take them to these machines and get your five crowns back or if you like the cup you can take it home. So at the beginning of the video I said that I would bring you up to the rooftop of Sticks and Sushi so we can look over the park and here we are. I hope you found this video useful. Um, I've given you some tips of how to make the most out of your visit to Tivoli, whatever time of the year you come, so it's not just about Easter. And also showed you some of uh, the Easter decorations that they have in the park and the beautiful, beautiful flowers. So if you like this video, do consider um, giving me a thumbs up down below and subscribing so you don't miss any more. I'm going to be making plenty more videos over the summer, lots of different things, both about visiting uh, Copenhagen and Denmark, but also living here as well. So do make sure you subscribe if you don't want to miss out on those. Now, I'm going to say bye for now, and I'm going to show you a few views of the beautiful park behind me. So until next time, goodbye.